Hello and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Wursu. Last week I showed you one of many ways to free stitch grasses onto a collaged background. And this week I thought I'd show you how a very similar grass shape can look completely different when you vary the colour range and background. As you can see, I've begun again with the collaged background, but less densely layered this time, and using a monotone colour range. The base fabric is a piece of cotton I dyed using eucalypt bark, which resulted in subtle light brown shades. Although this piece is loosely based on a delightful little grass called the Alpine Field Woodrush, a family of which there are many cultivars around the world, I'm afraid the seed heads bear rather a resemblance to the hay featured last week. This was because I was making the design up as I went along. There is certainly no botanical authenticity to it. However, Working like this allows you the freedom to explore design and layout, and I personally learn a lot about balance in a design when creating freely rather than from a drawn design. I've used a variegated thread to stitch the grasses. I love using variegated thread in designs like this as it creates a spontaneity and depth to the stitched feature, which I think suits the subject matter in this case. Variegated threads are not always appropriate though, as you have little control over what rolls off the spool. Of course, the choice of thread type and colour are very personal, and everyone has their own likes, dislikes and favourites. This is one aspect that makes this art so personal and interesting. As you can see, the design has gradually built up across the background, travelling from one section to another by stitching along the lower edge of the design. This will eventually be hidden in the border, or you could do it in such a way that it becomes a feature in itself. When the design was complete, I trimmed the edges and just stitched a simple edging to create a border, as this is intended as another sampler study. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at deborahwursu.com for more tips, tutorials and videos.